Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how to determine the mode for a nominal or ordinal variable using SPSS. As an example I have uh, three variables and I've named them in the type of mode that they have. The mode is the category or item with the highest frequency or items or categories with the highest frequency. So one way of doing this would be to create a bar chart using graphs or uh, converting a table but another way is to click on analyze then click on descriptive statistics and then select frequencies then select all the variables of which you want to see the mode so in this case all three I use the shift key to select multiple variables and then either drag them to variables or simply click on the move button then make sure you click on statistics and click on a mode then click continue and then make sure the display frequency tables is checked uh, because we might actually need them then click on OK and you should be getting some output now depending on your version of SPSS this uh, output might have a different look and feel but the information should be the same now as you can see the top uh, table actually shows that the mode is 2, 1 and 1 and these two actually refer to the variable uh, uh, coding so in this case if I go back to my data file uh, and go to my variable view I can actually see here that the one was actually brand A and two was actually brand B so it's useful to have those on hand and if you go back to the output uh, you can actually also often just count or depending on how you actually numbered them in this case uh, it's pretty obvious that one was brand A so it's a bit annoying that SPSS doesn't show the category this then belongs to another thing to notice is that there's a little A up here which shows that multiple modes exist but it doesn't inform you about which one is actually the other ones then and in the last case there shouldn't actually be a mode but it does still report that actually multiple modes exist because it will actually assume that all of them are the mode which is extremely rare I looked at 25 different textbooks and they all say that there shouldn't be a mode if everything has the same frequency but apparently SPSS thinks different so if we look at the first one we can indeed see that only brand B had a frequency of 4 and therefore was chosen more often than the other ones so therefore brand B is the mode which indeed represented by this 2 up here in the second one it's by model because there are two categories that had a frequency of 3 none of them had a frequency higher than 3 and the other ones were all lower um, so brand A is actually the one that's reported because apparently one is the smallest and in the end there is brand D which is therefore the other one so in these cases it's useful to have actually the frequency table and you still will need to determine what the other ones are by doing a simple inspection and in the last example as you can see um, all of them had a frequency of 2 so there shouldn't be any mode and this is where SPSS makes a very uncommon decision to then say that all of them are the mode I hope this video was helpful if you like, uh, please subscribe, that really helps out.